Hello everyone, this video I will show you how to use this E16S board that work with the Home Assistant and work with the KC868 server. So this will be very powerful. And in this video I will show you how to use this wall switch and the digital input I use for sensor and I use for wall switch. How to configure it and let it become very powerful and work by the different work mode. So you can see here is the board, as I see E16S board that have connect with this power distribution box that mainly is the case 868 server. And this is A16 and this is E16. But uh, this E16S that include this two board function. So you can see I have used this one server and work for this 16 channel relay output. And this A16 also have 16 channel relay output. And this I have also have 16 channel relay output. So you can see there are many three units of 16 channel that totally will have 48 channel relay output. And in Home Assistant, you can see here is the dashboard. Here you can see this is 16 channel uh, for the server output. And this is the A16 channel output. Uh, for this board, you can see I can turn on and turn off and all on and all off. And also you can see I have created the home, the two floor and the three floor and in different floor and uh, set by the different controller. And you can see this is E16. You can see I can turn on and turn off. Uh, so this board can work. And let's look at the sound hardware details. And you can see this is a KC868 E16S that you can see here is the output and this input. But this input have many control but you can see here that have 16 channel but all uh, A series board have digital input and digital output. But this part have this button that will easy for testing and when the switch is broken so that you can press on off to control the relay output by this menu control button directly. So that will be very useful. And this is the power and this is the RS485 interface running by the motor bus. And this is ground and this is analog input. And this time I have used this board that is connected with the Ethernet cable. I'm not using the Wi-Fi. And also you can see this is the speak and also have the wireless receive module. So this board, you can see, I can use by the switch panel. And this switch panel, just a momentary switch panel. And you can see, here you can install this frame. This different frame have, have this different color. So you can change. And you can see, I have used this network cable work with this switch. That is C85 cable. Actually, you can use any cable. You can see here I have installed for testing the whole 300 meters of the network cable. So when I have connected with my switch, you can see I have used this six, but six button switch. I have connected with this seven line, uh, K1 to K6 and KCOM. Uh, this is rest not needed to use. And this is button. The cable on the other side, I have connected with this board, uh, E16S board, that is the input. You can see this cable, 300 meters, have connected with this wall switch panel, and this E16. That will work fine, so let's test. Here we can see uh, this buttons how it works. I have set this button for different work mode. Uh, so we, let's test. This is button 1, you can see I can press one time, uh, this relay is on, press again, relay is off. Press, relay on, and uh, this is off. So that is for talking, just to change the state of relay. And you can see this is button 2. You can see my finger. I hold on the button, the relay is on. I remove my finger, relay is off. So you can see, on, off, on, off, on, off. That is according to my finger. So this means inch mode. So this is used for the motor and for up and down and change the brightness. So you can see, and this is button three. You can see, I can hold on, click. That will auto off. 
in one second you can see on and off on off on delete one time one second off so this i have used this momentary uh, for the work mode and here you can see i can press this button for is on off on off and the button five on off on off but this but can't let the relay work at the same time or is on you can see i can press this relay is on but this time i press button five the button five is relay is on and the button four is out of so you can see change every relay five and four can't work at the same time you can turn on and turn off independently but you can't let this two relay is work or is on so this card interlock mode so that is for cotton or for motor because the motor's wire can't all connect with your power supply uh, for 200 watts and 110 watts so this is for interlock so this i have showed you this uh, one two three four four work mode of the buttons i have used this button but you can also use this button on the pcb board you can see uh, this is button one off and the button two is inch mode and the button three you can see uh, that is button three is out of that will out of and the button four that is for interlock and the button six just for on and off so this we have defined the this button and also used for this button on the PCB board this is easy for you to testing maybe your switch is broke or maybe your network cable is disconnected but this time you want to turn on relay and turn off relay so you can press this button on the PCB board that will be easy to use okay this is how to use the switch and how to use the button for different work mode but you can also use this remote because this board have 16 channel you can use this one remote that have 16 16 button also you can use any different uh, buttons uh, remote uh, different brand of the uh, company's remote integrate with this e16 board s so that will be uh, you can define any remote button uh, for turn on which relay is on which relay is off which relay is talking just by your code and uh, you can set by the esp home you can see here the home assistant dashboard we have set the different uh, buttons you can see here we have used the launch mode and the inch mode and the momentary mode and the interlock mode and uh, in Home Assistant, you can see this, this you can manually control by the PC. And if I can turn on all relay, you can see here the output 3 is also will out of. And this channel 4 and channel 5 auto is interlock mode. So will not work at the same time, these two buttons. I can turn off, uh, pay attention to this out of, output 3. You can see 3 is on, but 1 second delete time that will be out of i can turn on again turn on on, on and out of so this is for delay and this four and five will not work at the same time and here you can see that is the input digital input of this button just the 16 channel input when i press this button you can see uh, this will be on that you can use for binary sensor so you can also connect with this terminal uh, with your sensor such as door sensor or smoke sensor gas sensor many drag contact output sensor and you can see i can two three four five six seven so and until the 16 channel input you can see here is on when i press this button when i release it that will be off so in esp home we can configure the input and work with the output that will be have very powerful function so you can see just click esp home 
and we can config the E16S. Just add it, and you will see uh, some sentence. If you want to config the input one, uh, this button one for for launch mode, so you can see we can find out the input one. That just this sentence. I'm press when I press this button input one that will target the output one. So only three sentences uh, you will be set. I can zoom out. This will be let input one and uh, target the output one. Okay, let's look at the input two. That is for inch mode. So when I press this button input 2, that will be on and remove this finger will be off. So we just add these two sentences. On press, uh, that is also is a thing. Just that will be on press and on release uh, these two sections. This is only one section, just uh, the ESP home wants to know when you press this button. But this just needed to add them when you release the button. So when you press, that will be switch will be turned on the output two, and when release the finger, that will be switch off. That will be output two. So this is for set for this uh, input two, just the button two. Okay, let's look at the button three. Uh, you can see here the button three. The button three. That is momentary, that will out of in one second. And in this section, also is in unpress uh, this tugging, uh, this output three. But we just set the output three, you can see here. That, auto, that output three defined uh, from the switch will have this sentence. When this is turned on, that will delay one second that will be out of the output out out 3. So this sentence is set for out of for this terminal. OK, let's look at the 4 and 5, the interlock mode. You can see here the output 4, because this defines that is for the switch. Uh, you can see here the switch. So you want the output 4 and interlock with the output Output 5. These two really will not work at the same time, so you just add this center. That will be interlock uh, with this which one? That is output 5. So this ID, this ID just fill in this sections. So that will interlock relationship 4 with the 5. And also you can see here have defined the switch output 5, add the interlock centers. That will interlock relationship with the output 4. So this have linked the 4 and the 5 in interlock mode. So you can see here in our form, I have uh, noted that uh, for the launch mode, uh, just this three sentence, and uh, inch mode uh, for this sentence just for unpress and unrelease. And this is for momentary, just out of. So you can define the switch. You can just add this delay sentence. And this is interlock mode, work mode. That will be just insert these two sentences uh, for relationship of the interlock. So that will be very easy. And define your different input uh, for different output with work, which work mode. And when you define, you can see here I can use by the Home Assistant dashboard. Uh, you can turn on and turn off. It's very easy. And also you can see I can use this switch button. But uh, you, maybe you will ask uh, whether it look according to the network cable. If this board without internet, without network cable, whether it can run it, I think I can tell you it's no problem. That is working locally. I have used this USB cable, downloaded the freeware from the K868 server because that have a Raspberry Pi inside. And also I have connected with the Ethernet cable. Uh, this cable, Ethernet cable, and this network all in one local network. 
And this time, you can see I can turn on, turn off by the, this button. Okay, let's look. Remove this USB cable. Uh, that not need to download now. So you can see, I remove this USB, and you can see the button is on and off. And the Home Assistant dashboard also will update the on and off. And you can see here, when I remove this network cable, I can remove it. There's no network cable. And this Home Assistant, you can see, I can turn off, turn on, uh, nothing work, will not work. And uh, but this time, if you press this button, you can see, also it work. So this is work in locally, uh, without network. And uh, two inch, and uh, momentary, this is momentary, and the inch, and uh, interlock. So now, I have no any network cable. Just I have this uh, DC12 power supply. And I also can use this switch. So this is work for the locally. And now you can see the home assistant that is always unavailable. So because there's no network. But this time, we have reconnect this network cable. Maybe your network, network cable is disconnected. And I have connected again. And you can see the Home Assistant will update right now. So you can see, now I can also turn on and turn off from the Home Assistant. And off, and all on, and off, and all on. So this is very powerful. I think you can define this input channel uh, for any things mode and uh, for any automation by the ESP Home. And every A series board of Kinkonis product have the input uh, terminal you can use so that you can define uh, your own things mode. Okay, this is how to define the work mode of the button and the input, the digital input. Okay, thanks for watching.